And as time passes, do you know what will affect you? The sacrifice. The sacrifice that you have made for your spouse is what will increase you in value. And the sacrifice that your spouse has made for you is what will increase him or her in value. So you need to sacrifice. What did I sacrifice? Not just my wealth, not just my time, but my kindness, meaning I need to be kind, my heart. I need to say good words. And I'm encouraging even the older people to go and try it out. It works. The other day I was talking to one person rough, roughly my age. And we were saying, you know, our fathers, I, I don't think our fathers told our mothers, I love you even once, but they loved each other tremendously more than we who say, I love you 20 times a day. But I tell you what, if your parents are still alive, I hope they're listening. Try it out. Go and say, I love you. And that's not how you say it. You don't just go and say, I love you. And then you walk out. No, there is a way. Like I said, there is tajweed for everything. Subhanallah. I love you. Subhanallah. <laughs> That holds much more weight than I love you. Tajweed, you know, say it correctly, properly, mashallah. That's your spouse. You can say it how you want. You can flick your eyes and blink them and do whatever you want. That's your spouse. Come on. The value of that speech is such that you can, you know, beautify it. You want to add a tashdeed? No problem. You want to add a mud? No problem. You want to do ghunna and ikhfa? No problem. That's your spouse. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. You know? You want to sing a song for them? Why not? Say, look, my darling, I prepared a song for you. I love you. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> What's wrong? That's the knot. May Allah bless us all. My brothers and sisters, there is nothing wrong in Islam to do that. It's your spouse. But the problem with us, we will send messages with these emoticons. You know, in, on WhatsApp, there's a heart. When you send it, it, it actually blows up a little bit. And it starts, it starts pumping. Have you seen it? Mashallah, I had quite a lot of yeses. I hope you're sending them to the right people, my brothers and sisters. I hope you are, really. It's a beautiful heart. But how, how many times do you send it to your spouse? I don't think your spouse will become upset by you sending it even on auto send. Every 10 minutes, a heart goes out. I don't think they would become upset. You know why? There is no auto send on WhatsApp. It has to have been you. We send it. Yes, we do. We use emoticons. We use the love. We, we, we use the little, you know, those thick red stubby lips that come on WhatsApp, you know, and we use them and send them here and there. Subhanallah, without ever kissing, without ever doing anything. And we've, but the problem is we are sending it to the wrong person. We are sending it to someone and that sending has been encouraged by shaitan. I'm not saying the person is bad. No, am I saying you are bad, but shaitan is very bad. So shaitan says, no, your wife, come on, you don't need. Wallahi, you get to work, phone your wife. Hey, listen, darling, I'm at work. Everything is okay, mashallah. The sandwiches you made are really, really great. Make sure she did put sandwiches in there, mashallah. <laughs> Otherwise, you're in trouble. She'll tell you that, hey, where did these sandwiches come from? I didn't put them. <laughs> but give her the call. Tell her, mashallah, when you eat, say, mashallah, the food was excellent. It was very good. Mashallah, I, we thank Allah and I thank you for the effort. This is how it works. Your husband comes back. He comes home. He buys you something. He does something for you. Thank him. Say, oh, I really appreciate it. Count the favors of the husband. Do you know one of the sins of women that are made mention of by Muhammad وسلم, is that sometimes they do not appreciate what's done for them. They're quick to forget. But the same applies to men. We are quick to forget what, what the women do for us as well. 